In today's program, what can one hide in a fur coat? A follower of a stop bender was detained at a renovated border point. Energy saving technologies, modern equipment, and showers for dogs. How a modernized unit operates on the Russian border. There was a large construction site here six months ago, and just on the eve of the New Year holidays, Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko and Moldovan Prime Minister Pavel Filip solemnly unveiled the updated Palanka Mayaki Udobne checkpoint. Large scale reconstruction on the Ukrainian Moldovan border lasted two years and cost 6.5 million euros. The lion's share of this amount came from the EU. The facility is under joint control. It takes just a few minutes for border guards and customs officers from both countries to register passengers and vehicles quickly and easily. One passport check instead of two, one common customs declaration and one joint database. They are the elements of protecting the rights, freedoms and safety of ordinary people. <coughs> At the same time, it's extremely effective protection against smuggling and corruption. The work of this international team has already proven to be effective. Even smugglers felt it. The last story was funny. Do you remember the finale of the adaptation of the novel The Golden Calf by Ilfen Patrol? In it, a stop bender made his way to the Romanian border in two fur coats and loss of jewels. This Moldovan citizen repeated the adventure of the great swindler to the finest detail. He returned from Odessa by bus. Border guards immediately noticed a gray fur. It was unusual clothing for a young man, even in winter. Everything was revealed during the inspection. Over 70 accessories to mobile phones were found inside the lining of the fur coat. The product is not so valuable but popular. A stop bender would have been proud. Eyewitnesses now retell this comic story to their friends. But this poor fellow was forced to lose his goods. And Ukrainian northern borders have their own specific features. As the climate is more severe, there are a smaller number of settlements. But the worst thing is the presence of the aggressor on the other side. The Leonivka border guard unit is located in the village bearing the same name in Chernihiv region. Russia is just one kilometer away. A housewarming party was recently celebrated here. Rebuilding work cost 19 million hryvnias. However, the result is worth it. It's hard to believe that the administration office of this unit has a history spanning more than 200 years, former school principal Anatoly Kurus told about it. The building was built in 1812 by landlord Slipushkin. Historically, the dwelling building existed till 1917. After the October Revolution, the estate hosted Bolsheviks and it was later handed over to a school. It was a school prior to World War II. During the war, there were no classes here because it was a recreation center for the Nazis. After World War II, the building survived a great fire, but withstood the test and opened its doors to school children a short time later, up till 2014. The number of school children fell constantly, and in 2014, there was nobody left to teach. It was border guards who saved the historic building from decline. With the beginning of the war in the Donbass region, it was necessary to strengthen dangerous areas. Leonivka was one of them. We guard a section of the Ukrainian state border with the Russian Federation that is 30 kilometers long. We're always on full alert for any provocations. The situation is under control, but changes can happen at any time. As experience shows, you can expect anything from our neighbors. According to open-source data, five new military units of the Russian army appeared recently on the territory of Bryansk region. Another one is planned to be situated in the town of Unecha, and it's a real threat. 
По деяких напрямках можуть reconnaissance groups and saboteurs from the Russian Federation may cross it. Diversivno rozvidne grupe. Border guards assure us that the unit is ready for any event. Although Green Berets cannot fully stop a direct invasion, they're good at monitoring the enemy's moves, responding to provocations and detaining transgressors. They have everything they need to do this. A quad bike enables speedy off-road navigation, and a snowmobile is the best vehicle in winter. The unit is equipped to modern standards, the latest technology, energy-saving technologies, and a lounge area for staff. And this is the place for kinologists. A separate box is designed for dogs, a classroom, aviary, dog walking yard, and even a dog shower are all here. Sheepdog Mill welcomes us. The dog is nervous at first, but his curiosity prevails. Mill is two and a half years old, and his profession is to search for a fender by sniffing. The dog is very responsible in its work, but according to his handler, he likes to have some fun too. They like walking in their training suit. It is planned to open two more similar units in Chernihiv region this year, so we can expect the border on this section to be safer. Watch next. Salmon hunting, or where smugglers lay their caviar and where they deliver it. The guide screwed up. Seven Turks and a Ukrainian guide were detained on an illegal route to Hungary. Everyone knows what red caviar is. It's a product from salmon fish which spawns only in certain regions of the globe. Most do so only once in their lifetime. But this delicacy has one more feature, a high price. It's the price of the product that is most attractive to smugglers. It's clear that expensive goods are more profitable to smuggle. This proved by border guards of the Sumi detachment, who together with fiscal officers found a batch of caviar in this car. When they unexpectedly looked into the car, the driver looked very upset. Everything began so well, a calm journey and a safely hidden product. And all of a sudden, a well-planned deal had failed. Law enforcers found almost a hundred plastic containers. The Moldovan citizen had put them everywhere. There was nearly half a center of royal delicacy valued at 60,000 hryvnias. What a catch! But potential buyers won't be able to enjoy it. The cargo was seized and a report of administrative violation was compiled. Ukrainian Transcarpathia, the water channel Botar serves the border between it and Hungary. This place has a dubious distinction because sometimes smugglers carry cigarettes this way, often in diving gear. But this time it was without diving suits. It's winter and the focus group is different. These are citizens of Turkey. Transcarpathian region is located on the transit routes of foreigners, migrants to Western European countries. They go there in search of a better life abroad by finding employment. Ukrainian border guards informed their Hungarian counterparts about the approach of certain unknown persons. They gave a warm welcome to four visitors. And soon this group on the Ukrainian side was supplemented by three more Turks. The illegal tour was organized by a resident of Vinica. His case is now in Vinohradiv district court of Transcarpathian region. In fact, he got 60 days in custody as a precautionary measure.